Let's see you, old friend. Flash, my dear. But Yodna leave no corpses. Something huge was dragged this way. The ditch was dark, so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This cart bears the sign of Agit. If it was Agir's cauldron, they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. Construction leads towards that giant route. The end of the trail. But where is the cauldron? The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft mass all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. They will attack on sight here.
How did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion.
must be a way to reach it.
they see me, this will get messy. trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. I need your eyes, my friend. My father was a thrall. Hvað er eigi þar að gera? You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gumluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. 
You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Show me. Hans, my partner. No sense trying to change fate. What count? Here's the stone circle. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. <laughs> Aid me, Bima. Gunloda, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. 
Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep Father waiting. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but... ...well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find an... This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very Stop, walls. you idiot! The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will not get there. <laughs> Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungur. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> 
My cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, dreaded hunter of your kind. One hundred Yatna have I slain. You tread on dangerous ground, Aesir. Great Yatna, I stand here in awe of your might and majesty. They do not respect weakness. Show some backbone. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron, and Tutankhamun will open his vault. Champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Nobody's ever beaten the champion. Drink in the name of Harvey! Not have our hearts. We need a warrior to lead us. Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Go! 
Come, give it I that... should try in the archery contest. No doubt they will toast. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Last time I played your game, I got... The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Could you give it to me again? Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. I think I will need to hear that again. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fair he kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a one more. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. White haired women, servants too. Bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. When you feel ready, take a drink and try again. The mead is half gone. An egg ears colder and can't be drained. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bread to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing round us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Oh, 
That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> but they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Best not to draw attention. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Oh, give it a try. Okay, What's the worst that can so happen? Last dare. time I played your game, I got so... Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second? You return. Keen to stretch your bowstring? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What's the second worst? Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow! Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Utgarda, the ancient keep of the Yotna. Sutungar's old sway within those walls. my 
might find some way to make the guests thirsty. Spices call for a cooling drink. Now, how can I use this? No guests in the kitchen. Out. Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible, Gunnar. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. your hand in front of your face.
Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? Fate, Gunloda. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. No, you tease and mock, but I do not believe your lies. Your only desire is the mead. You are a thief and an agent of chaos. I'll see you pay for this deceit. Guards! I never trusted you. I never! You. <laughs> Do this! You cannot know the consequences! No one can! The strange magic might the ACA evade our doom. Hurricane has promised answers at the well of Mimir.
Harvey! There! See? The robber caught red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace. such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Deceiver! False tongue! Dishonorable trickster! It was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. Hidekin said to find her Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day.